Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. We're looking at strange anomalies in our guy Planitia at a site called Parvu. As usual, we're joined by the lovely Michelle. Hey everybody. So let's get cracking on. Let's look at the original source material and then the anomalies. The Haras photograph is called Valley System north of Argaia Planitia, which was acquired on the 3rd of January 2008 at a resolution of 25.5 centimeters per pixel. The anomalies are cropped from a JP2 black and white map projected file. There's a look at the low res black and white and it looks like there was quite a bit of water here in the distant past. So could these anomalies have been pushed up through a tsunami or a big flood on Mars? We know there was massive catastrophes there in the distant past. So the site's located to the northern edge of Argaia Planitia near Parvu. We'll have a look at the other anomalies close by towards the end of the video. This site's located roughly 43 degrees 1 minute south, 39 degrees 57 minutes west. First anomaly right there folks, we're looking at two similar blocks with the usual suspects in their centers. This piece measures about 8 meters across. The site is littered with these blocks folks. Check out the straight edges and right angles on these blocks. Some symmetry and geometry at play again. This looks almost like a grid on top of that block. And we're looking at blocks slightly bigger. Check those out folks. Again, right angles straight edges, very smooth flat surfaces and then the uniformity in the thickness is what sticks out for me. And we're looking at that strange block with these three protruding edges or parts. Check out the symmetry on this folks. Three very similar rounded arcs on that design there looks like we have a conical feature in the center. Then we're looking at the blocks over here folks. There's another one similar to it over there. Also very uniform in thickness and height. Check this out. Very straight edges to it. Right angles. Looks almost like part of a collapsed structure. More blocks over here folks. Check out the smaller block on that one, almost parallel with that edge. Again, straight edges and right angles. Small protrusions on it as well. Very similar to blocks that we find down at megalithic sites in Peru. Check out the diagonal piece on that block. We've seen similar designs, other sites on Mars as well, the block underneath and then the raised surface running diagonally across that block or slab. Some of the smaller blocks again folks with the small customary objects in their centers. Another huge block over here, that's about 10 meters long. And it's got a smaller part parallel with this one edge. Looks as if this has been hollowed out or machined out as well to the right. We're looking at a rather odd piece there. It looks like there's a slot cut into it. With a small protrusion in the center. Check this out. Very unusual as well. Triangular block over there guys, it's got three small parts in it arranged in a triangle in the shape of the one surface over here. Another small part on that highly eroded piece there to the left, this looks like might be hollowed out or pushed up towards the top left. Must as if it crashed there. 
check out the blocks over there again guys the usual design and there's another block very similar to one I showed previously it's got a very straight edge to it check that out nice right angles well-defined edges very smooth bright surface to it as well and then that part lying diagonally on top also looks rather odd it's almost like a fork type of design more blocks check that out very similar to the one we just showed you some more blocks closely packed together check that out odd piece with the small protrusion or object in its center this is almost like a little pyramidal design another block guys this just carries on check that out another one of those with the small part in the center it also looks as if the soil has been pushed up to the top left and this is also a rather strange piece it's got this triangular part on the one side and we've seen similar blocks to that in other sites in Algaira as well and then we've got small objects arranged in patterns on this item check that out three small similar parts in a row placed almost equally apart parallel with the edges there check that and in this looks as if there's this smaller object almost like parking in an opening there not that it is folks looks highly suspicious also three parts in a triangular pattern there there's another block up here to the right do encourage you if you get a chance download the JP2s and use iView to check them out. There's another block totally out of place and it's got the small part in the center. Here we've got four similar parts arranged in a square pattern on that block. Geometry and symmetry once again and it was Carl Sagan who once said if you're looking for intelligent life you look at symmetry and geometry right down to Argaia Planitia and to Parvu the site we're looking at is over there folks there's a brief look at those blocks and slabs again for summary just check the similarities do let me know in the comments below do you think natural geology caused these or are we looking at intelligent design and then there's this strange surface feature also very geometrical almost like a square shape that's been carved into the Martian surface that's about 30 by 30 meters in size could that have been some type of strip mining in the distant past let's have a look at a couple of sites to the west this is where i found that funny sculpted piece that looks like a face check out the eyes and the nose strange ornament on the forehead I'm not saying it is a face guys but it's quite interesting that slot in that block two smaller blocks on the inside and there we have the usual pattern the blocks the smaller parts in their centers one last one for good measure this is where I found that arrangement of smaller blocks or parts in a row look at the distance between those folks looks highly artificial and then there's this part it's about 30 meters across looks like it's been hollowed out and the swell's been moved 
to the right, almost like a ramp. Then that looks like a metallic part with an opening in it as well. More metallic parts. Well, that's what it looks like to me. Thanks for joining Michelle and I for this exciting episode. Take care, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now.